Stuart. Hey. Happy to have you here with us today. We're here to talk about purpose. And uh, one of the things I'm going to uh, cue Stuart up on here real quick. Uh, we had a great event uh, last week. It was a ribbon cutting at Acadia in Battle Creek Behavioral Hospital, a national chain. And uh, we talk about purpose a lot and the purpose of what we're doing and how we're doing it. And I think this probably illustrates uh, people with passion and purpose delivering a product. And Stuart, I think there were some comments made to you I was. Um, at the opening by the CEO of Acadia uh, regarding the team's performance. So uh, let's jump right in. Yeah, no, thank, thanks Steve for, for inviting me to Bulk 22 and hello everybody again. So yeah, no, I, I had the, the pleasure of um, attending the, the opening of what an amazing facility uh, with Brian and the team. And uh, you know, some of the most rewarding parts of, of my role is just, is just hearing from our clients about, about the fantastic work we do. And it really reminded me of why we do what we do, what, what drives me, what drives all of you, you know, that, that inner purpose. And, and, and you know, I was telling Steve um, last week that a long, long time ago, somebody a lot smarter than me said to, said to me, Stuart said, your role in life is to make your clients look good. And I'm like, I got confused. I'm like, why would I want to make my client look good? Is it not about making myself look good? He said, no, 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 it's about, because when you make your clients look good, they then start to value you um, as a partner. Then they start to care for you, and, and then they'll take you on a journey. And what I heard from Acadia um, last week was that through our, our flawless delivery, um, with all the care and attention that we bring, again, thank you, Brian and the team, that client values us, that, that client cares for us because we made them look good. And what I heard heard from them is, you know, we, we now want to take you on the road with us and take that experience elsewhere. Because guess what, Stuart? When we bring these facilities to market, on time, to budget, to the quality and care and attention, the impact on the community that these projects will bring is just astronomical. And, and we heard that. And, and, and that it, it, it kind of resonated really strong with me because that's, what, that's why I do what I do. And that's why I know all of you do what you do as well. And uh, it's, you know, it, was, it was really rewarding to hear. And, and, you know, and I, I know that's the care and attention that we bring to all of our clients and all of our projects. So. It really illustrates uh, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Yep. Uh, we, uh, our team is so solid on the, uh, the internal knowledge of the working knowledge of what we do, but you couple that with caring like no other, which we saw when we show up at these, uh, showed up there and it was just perfectly done. Uh, that is um, the extra sauce, it's the secret weapon, it's whatever you'd like to refer to it as, but it makes it, it's a difference maker. Uh, and very noticeable for a CEO of a national organization to pull you aside and tell you that at that kind of event, you know that is something that is um, pretty much unheard of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And, and we were talking a little earlier about we make, and it's a bit of a, I guess it's a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of a, it's not a problem for us, but it, that we create, we make things look easy. And, um, and I think society and industry loses sight on just how complex uh, and complicated the projects uh, we, we actually do. So when we bring care, attention, and that high level of quality, and you deliver as promised, it takes a lot of effort and a Herculean lift. And, and I think because we make it look easy, society thinks it's easy. And, and you know, I certainly know how complicated it is. And um, you know, and I think that's why we stand head and shoulders above our competition because you know we it, it, it is very very hard to do what we do and to do it well. Yes, sir. Just applaud everybody for that. This is a, a deep bucket of things we, we can talk about. Yeah. Um, the rest of this clip, uh, you're going to see uh, snippets of Stuart and I's conversation as our expert, Katrina, mm -hmm. cuts and wheels and deals and yeah. kind of takes things. So get ready for uh, some sound bites, word bites, probably some visuals uh, as we explore deeper uh, the purpose and the passion with which uh, all of you were so appreciative of approach to work that we do every day and as Stuart says 
We make the impossible seem possible yeah. all the time. And we make our clients look good. Yeah, we do. And our job is to make you look good, yeah. making the clients look good. So tell us how we can help. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank we you all. We appreciate you. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Uh, see, you've heard me say frequently, I love what we do but hate how we do it. So our internal purpose has been to create a place where people that love to build, because everybody we have has, these people all have a passion for creating a build environment. Yeah. Can you imagine the world without the build environment? Oh, they, it wouldn't be a world. It wouldn't be a world. Yeah. That's right. And people that have the passion to do that, but not the right place to do that, if we do that, then I think the end result is we provide better to the to the bigger outside world. To our clients, we provide a better product. If we can fix that part of, I hate how we do it, I no longer hate how we do it. I highly dislike some of the elements of it, but we're getting better and better. But if you can give those artists that are out there doing the work the right platform to work off of, you can create a better product and a better world for them to do their work they're working. You know, look at the shame of the, um, in, in Paris with the Notre Dame. Yeah. Mm. Look at that thing. And look at what they've had to do to rebuild that. But they bring all these artisans back, retrain people. I mean, those things just don't happen. They just don't happen. We look at those like, well, that's pretty cool. Well, yeah, it's not only pretty cool, it is a load of hard work. Yeah. And, when you, and when you do it right, it, it, yeah. it fulfills its objectives and it lasts. It's, it does. Yeah. yeah. When you, you know? build with, and we can tell, you and I can walk through a building, you can tell something that's built with. It's just been thrown together. There's no care, no yeah. intention. Because mm -hmm. it starts to fall apart pretty It does. Yeah. And when people know you care, then they care. And we're asking these our people to care a lot, and they do. They care for our customers. They care of their their client, our clients' needs. Our clients don't know how to do these things, but when we start top by caring, they can care, and that that cascades all the way through to the point where the the guy delivering the port of jobs to, to the job site actually places it right. Knows he has to come and clean. I mean, all those elements can start to come into into place if it's led correctly. Yeah, and that that has to come from. It, it starts. With, it doesn't start with passion. You know, it's not, not like you follow your passion. You discover a purpose along the way, and slowly but surely, your passion builds for that. Now, our passion may be to build things, but that is pretty simplistic when you get right down to it. You need a whole system to support that. So our purpose has to be to build a system to support that passion that we've developed along the way to create these great things. Yeah. It's, it's interesting, because when you, when you really start to think about this, it's all about environment. So I, I always I, I go back and start channeling my inner John constantly. Mm -hmm. Thank you, John. And there's, there's two environments. We create a an ecosystem for for the greater environment to thrive and flourish anywhere. But we need to create the inner environment for for our practitioners and artists to be able to do their very best work. And it's all about creating that environment. Absolutely. And, you know, in that positive environment, making sure, and it's not about easy, but it's it's like, let, let's remove the obstacles. Again, thinking about behavioral science, it's like, what's not, what stops people from achieving goals? It's, it's, it's either the, you know, it's either training, so we've got to train our people to be able to do it properly, so they, they know what they do, then it's just removing obstacles. And, you know, all through my career, which, which is why I ended up here is, as my career progressed and my, my inner purpose grew stronger, my passion grew stronger, more and more obstacles that didn't need to be there were thrown in the way of doing it. I, I, I needed to find somewhere that I could get back to that, you know, and help remove those obstacles that just prevent progress. And, yeah. and that's why we are so successful is we spend an enormous amount of time of, of removing obstacles to allow our our own people to do what they really want to do and then help our clients to exactly. achieve that, that environment out there. Appreciating the uniqueness of each project is like appreciating the uniqueness of each individual. Yeah. And to match those up and watch those flourish is really, really uh, um, awe-inspiring. It's awesome. I just love that part yeah. of it. Uh, and because there's no cookie cutters in this business. This is one of the most complex things humans do, is to design and construct the built environment. And we take a lot of it for granted, and we try to make it a commodity in some respects, and a lot of it is commodity. There's an assembly line somewhere uh, shooting out bricks right now as we speak that we'll probably use on a, on a project site. 
Um, but those, those take time and quality and all the other things too. So nothing comes easy in the business. And then we're literally assembling a million of unique pieces of parts out of everything with uh, different, uh, with, with unique labor sets. Now, I, it's just awe inspiring. Yeah. Think. And I, I've often thought about this quote about, you know, you, you get into that deep thinking because it, it's always frustrated me that our industry or the, our broader industry clients and, and, and manufacturers and that people just don't really truly appreciate the complexity and I've often thought about it, it's because we make it look easy. Mm -hmm. like, there was a cartoon in the UK called Bob the Builder <laughs> and he used to go around building things. Yeah. I'm not sure if you ever made it to the US. Yeah. And we, we, we oh, used yeah. to call it the Bob the Builder factor because yeah. everybody's probably painted a wall or mm -hmm. fixed a garden fence. So there's this concept of, of you know, creating the build environment. We make it look easy, and therefore it's it's a massively un, you know, misunderstood yeah. um, um, industry. And the, the level of you know complexity and effort and care and everything that goes into it is just is just massively, massively. Yeah, and um, and we've created that as a as an industry. We just we we make it look too easy. Yeah, it's, it'd be interesting to have a whole series on excavating all of that, yeah. uh, the history of how that occurred, you know, the, the uh, what's the old master of none kind of thing. Yeah. You know, uh, the we, we definitely need, having seen what Netflix has done for <laughs> Formula One and now the two, it's, we definitely need a Netflix show on construction because <laughs> I think that would that would transform, transform yeah. our industry. And, uh, but you're right, we, uh, there is a lot of opportunity and, and it kind of grinds through certain eras, you know, of um, uh, economic times and so forth and so on that always put pressure. It doesn't matter whether it's healthcare or our, our construction or whatever it is, you're going to have the ups and downs that go with that. Uh, and, and you just have to take advantage of the situation and, and continue to build towards excellence. And if you do that, you will get there. It's never a linear path, though. You know, it's going to be like this. Always has been like that and always will be. But I think we're seeing the era come back of the master builder uh, identity, the master builder approach. Uh, somebody has to choreograph all this. We have some of the, we have the best in the business. It's their responsibility and they're faced with ever-changing times now, but they're pulling it out, yeah. rabbits out of hats like incredibly well. So we just have to continue to support that and give them new systems, tools. Leadership is really hard. And I don't care where you're at. And so. Developing leaders, and we have this catchphrase, and I love this thing, it's leaders building leaders. Mm -hmm. And we did some of that last night. And I think that's the secret, going to be the secret yeah. to our success going forward, is yeah. continuing to elevate people. So. And then, uh, I, I, I couldn't agree more strongly, um, but there's also this other dynamic that's taking place uh, out there in society. And I think the, the pandemic um, really daylighted that. There's, a, there's an essence of urgency that may, maybe wasn't there before. When the pandemic hit, there was there was urgency popped up everywhere. You know, we, we've created this global economy, this global supply chain. You know, and there was there was some fantastic um, data came out, like when we were making hand sanitizer, which was, was then proven not to be effective. But when we all were desperate for hand sanitizer. You know all the little distilleries and companies started producing you know gallons upon gallons of this stuff but we had no containers mm -hmm. because they're all made in the far east and of yeah. course if, if you're in that part of the world you're protecting your own society so you're not releasing the container we we, we, we had lost the ability to make containers so suddenly there was a sense of urgency we need that we need to be able to manufacture containers yeah. how, how can so so on the back of the pandemic there's now a sense of urgency about about certain markets and certain projects. So we're seeing that in the in you know in the, the semiconductor industry now in the U.S. You know we you know we we got blindsided by you know by that and we've, we've fallen behind. So now there's a sense of urgency. These clients have to get these assets to market quickly, but it's got to be done right. Mm -hmm. So again, leaning back on that master builder. Mm -hmm. You know the days of you know we can take the, the cheap cheap route and and you know make a few mistakes and correct them while we go. They're, they're dissipating. We see that with our life sciences yep. clients. You know, there's a sense of urgency. We cannot wait. It's got to be done right. right. And I think 
that's well, you know, our, our teams are absolutely really well poised to be able to capitalize on that yep. and do their very best work. So, Our challenge mm -hmm. is keeping ahead of it. Our challenge is always to stick our nose out into the wind. Uh, we're going to take a few swings and misses as we move along the path. Uh, the team has to be resilient. We talked about that a little bit um, at the event last night, actually, about what makes a great team. Yeah. Integrity, resilience, uh, leadership from all levels. And that's the only thing that will that will get us through and out the other end uh, ahead of the ahead of the curve, as it might be. Yeah. yeah, I'm very excited about it. I think it's there's just so many there's just so many great things. Oh my gosh, going on, you know. Yeah. And the, the the really really cool thing is, I know that when we start working with these clients, we will just blow their socks off. Mm -hmm. you know, we, we've done it. We are doing it. And we will continue to do it. And and I think that. We're, we're like the giant killers, you know. We, you know, we, you know we are, are, that, that's the really, really cool thing. Yeah. And we, and, but what comes out of that is we make them better. Right. You know, and that, and sometimes I think that's the, that's the picture that we often don't paint, or we, we lose sight of, when we bring a project to market on time or a little quicker, on budget or a little, a little, you know, we, we bring them savings, and we do it really well, high quality. We actually make their industry better, which in turn makes society and our and everything you know that we're involved in.